Am I audible to everyone now from here? Or should I recording? So that's why I will stay away from this. Okay, so we will see what is the difference because you important up to a job to job and then you apply you have a very good skill as a data engineer and you apply for data scientist chances are that you will not get selected same vice versa if you are good at data data scientist as a data scientist and apply for data engineer the skills are different so half of the data engineer or half of data scientist pata is good very good but if you are data scientist and you don't know data science then you will not get selected. So I'll clearly differentiate in one project flow where the data engineer comes and the data science comes. So this project is related to healthcare. So healthcare me kya hai? Uh, the model, the objective was you be patient inpatient with the hotel uh, hospital me patient hai. So what is the possibility of survival of those patients? Right? Ye kyu janna hai? Because if someone is admitted, right, and in US, especially uh, insurance is very costly. 
good incidents as hai just uh, some people who i know unke in laws i they fall sick and they admitted they were hospitalized for 7 8 days and the total cost of hospitalization was 100000 dollars matlab 80 lakh 90 lakh na kharcha tha right and sometimes insurance pays sometimes they say oh tumne pata hai ki pehle unko heart problem tha which is not covered because to the aged people so now they got rejected matlab now jo banda hai wo insurance ke paise dega jiske in laws hai na insurance company bolegi ki hum nahi de sakte because it's not covered under the insurance and the loss is of hospital hospital loss mein jayega because they have already put all the efforts so now the project i did was with the company which was mediator between the hospital and insurance company so this those sort of companies are called healthcare uh, providers and then uh, those are the it part of healthcare providers so that's the healthcare part so what is the important to know that patient survive hoga ya nahi hoga because agar nahi ho raha hai so you can minimize the treatments and other things right agar kisi patient hai jis already teen char bimari hai survival chances kam hai so you can build more insurance uh, payment or premiums to them so that is also important what is the survival probability so if the person so what are the attributes that are required uh, in that agar mujhe janna hai koi person survive hoga ya nahi hoga जेंडर और मेडिकल हिस्ट्री मेडिकल हिस्ट्री में वेदर ही हैज हार्ट प्रॉब्लम ग्लूकोज लेवल क्या है एनी एनी जेनेटिक्स जेनेटिक डिसऑर्डर और एलर्जीज सर्जरीज वॉट एल्स अल्कोहलिक और नॉन अल्कोहलिक वॉट एल्स स्मोकिंग okay so you will gather all this information these are all attributes of that one patient right it is called in medical term it is called subject right so subject hai and these are the all attributes so you gather these attributes now apart from this wo location kaha pe hai where he located uh, then what is his origin right whether generally it's africa us yeah the poor countries the what is the origin country so you will get all these attributes let's say i got this such attributes around 500 attributes okay different different usko covid hua tha ya nahi hua tha 
हिस्टोरिकल कुछ डिसऑर्डर है उसके फैमिली में या ऑल दिस एट्रीब्यूट यू गैदर फॉर दैट सब्जेक्ट ना उसमें से कौन सा ऐसा एट्रीब्यूट है जो एज को अफेक्ट करेगा राइट दस द पर्सन हैज ग्लूकोज हाई ग्लूकोज डज इट अफेक्ट यस इफ ही इज अ स्मोकर विल इट अफेक्ट विद इन द स्मोकिंग वेदर ही इज ओकेजनल और चेन स्मोकर दैट विल आल्सो अफेक्ट राइट so you gather all these attributes for that person and as a data engineer the first purpose is to get this take all data right so maybe let's see wo so data kahan se aayega first set of data this is second set of data third set maybe fourth set is a flat file or something So let's say this is related to personal information. This is related to this is personal information. This is related to income. Other information, just the income part, is important. If you have a good income, you will spend on your health. Okay, then you will spend on the some of the activities which are not. required so you can hire some person they say traveling hai ya other thing hai you can hire uh, you will you live at good locality jahan pe hospitals nahi hai another thing so that is the second set of data you will gather right so usme se mujhe 100 attributes mile hai 100 attributes are from here the attributes from here these all are attributes from different ab isme kya hoga kuch attributes common hai जैसे कि राजेश लेट्स से इज द वन सब्जेक्ट राजेश किसी में उसके लिखा होगा कि एज अ ग्लूकोज किसी में लिखा होगा सम डेटा दैट आई गैदर्ड फ्रॉम सम हॉस्पिटल वो बोलेगा ना इसको ग्लूकोज नहीं मे बी व्हाई मे बी डिफरेंट बिकॉज़ इन वन हॉस्पिटल वेयर यू बी गैदर्ड द डेटा इट वाज ओल्ड डेटा मे बी 10 साल पुराना था दिस इज गुड ही डजंट हैव अ हाई ग्लूकोज बट नाउ ही हैज हाई ग्लूकोज राइट सो दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ डेटा यू गैदर फ्रॉम ऑल द हॉस्पिटल लेट्स से You gather from there is a let's say one organization who provides all hospital all patient data. So you gather all this. So as a data engineer, and it's a raw data. Raw data means what? That if some of the database has let's say personal information may be in database. This information, uh, income information may be in flat files. This information may be in object oriented format, right? It may be like that. ड्राइवर्स uh maybe you will extract the data some maybe so extraction of some time you will extract this data by connecting to this database maybe you can directly connect or you can just ask for the extract so there are two ways either you connect and extract or either ask them to extract the data for you so abhi ye sab data aapke paas aa gaya now you need something to common make it in common format so there are different activities data profiling data cleansing data quality all this done by the data engineer okay jaise ki pune sine naam p u n e likha itne old name likha p d o n a p d o n e right so there is a different name but you want to standardize this that data you know? so wo activity will be there are data quality tools that are being used to do that pq tools for this one uh there are different um, vendors who has data quality tool as a data engineer probably you may or may not interact with the data quality tool but in case you must know what are the data quality tools do. they make this data in standard format right data value change as a standard format okay so for example phone number a 10 digit phone phone number a तो इसी में नाइन वन रहेगा इसमें प्लस नाइन वन है राइट सो यू वांट टू मेक इट स्टैंडर्ड आई दस नाइन वन प्लस नाइन वन 
or just make it 10 digit and then have a country code if you are getting from different countries. So that sort of things like a full team code that I type it, say digit hai. In some cases, it's a character plus number. So you will have to standardize it as well. So you got all that data information, joining, getting extraction of the data. And now you put in common format. Okay, this is your common format after getting all that data extracted. Into. Now, in previous, it used to be stored in a, uh, there were three layers to it. First, it was a landing when you extract the data. First layer was landing. Okay. Your data is in a flag file format, it gets converted into flag file format on S3. Now, landing area, consider your S3. Then, uh, or some people call it staging area. Staging may be just two your point data points, which you want to store the data first. That's the staging area. Landing is when the data first can land into your. Uh, Solution or architecture that's the landing area. Maybe it's a uh, your S3 bucket that's where the first time data is. Now, up here, raw data you need to join, process, uh, avoid duplicates, out of that. All these operations you will do. So, what operation you will do? You will do the cleaning of data. Okay. So, maybe some people call at refining, right? So, in then you do the refine and then you transform the data. You are transforming data in a common format, which is in table or some other format you do. Now, this after transformation of this data, you store in a data. Now, in old age, I mean, in the data warehouse, the cloud names are when we were not dealing with the huge amount of data, uh, we used to call a data warehouse, which is subject oriented data, non volatile data. You know, right? What is the data warehouse? Subject oriented, non volatile, time variant data. You know, right? These are the key properties of that. So, non volatile, it doesn't change. It keeps adding the data, right? Subject oriented, which is specific to healthcare related. Right and historical data you keep accumulating, you keep the preserve the history of that information. That's your data warehouse. That's how we store the data. So, abhi kya hua? Now, because you have a large compute power available and you have very large amount of storage, storage is not restriction, compute load is not restriction. So, people store the data in uh, detail format. They don't, they don't aggregate that data. Data where also we can also say, they aggregate that data or change that data, fact table, dimension table, we store that data. Now, people store directly, store the data, whatever in the format I got, in that format I store with some modification or refinement or cleaning to that. So that is now called as a data lake, right? And why we use the data lake? So now as a point of interview, the question, what is the difference between data lake and data warehouse? Yes. It's very easy, common, and very important question. If you know that, then right? So data lake may plain format. I mean, to the detail, they say data warehouse may come aggregated. So year end sale, yearly salary, it get aggregated. But in data lake, already it is monthly salary, so monthly record store with that data lake. And then after you create an aggregated data, maybe you create data marks after that, or you create a data warehouse if required for the detailed data store. Now, detailed data store you require that. Detailed data store is here required that other than data aggregate So, this is my data tha, patient. Tha. So, main, I want to do individual attributes which I want to do in this way, I want to do this way. I want to do some of the attributes, like these 500 attributes. Which one of these major top 5 attributes are that you affect your life? I want to find out that. Now, 
नेचुरली बोल दूंगा हां जिसको हार्ट प्रॉब्लम है उसका लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी कम है जिसको एलर्जी है उसका कम है बट व्हाट इज द प्रूफ प्रूफ क्या है प्रूफ ये है या तो मैं हिस्टोरिकल डेटा लूं एंड देन जो हिस्टोरिकल डेटा पे एनालिसिस करके फाइंड आउट करूं कि जो जो डेथ हुआ है पास में उनकी डेथ से उनको क्या-क्या प्रॉब्लम है राइट एंड आई विल कम टू दैट व्हेन वी डू मॉडलिंग वी आल्सो डू दैट benchmarking bolte usko and then we compare the model jo humne banaya equation aata hai then compare the model and we find out ki the model that we developed is good fit or not samajh mein aaya okay so detailed data source humne data mart banaya which is aggregated data can we use the aggregated data for as a data scientist no because data scientist needs a detailed data at the low level maybe it is data, that data aggregated data is required for reporting reporting ke liye ki mujhe dekhna hai ki uh, average income kya hota hai ye area mein ya to fir mujhe dekhna hai ki ye state mein ye kitne patients hai jinko report aaye inka heart patient kitne main wo aggregated se dekh sakta hu i am I'm doing analytics, but not as a modeling with that. So understand the modeling, statistical modeling, and analysis are little. Too, analysis is basically very wide term, but modeling is different term. When you do the modeling, it's purely on statistics and other things. Okay. So abhi kya hua? I can find out. Okay, uh, maybe Pune ke ye uh, city mein aur ye area mein glucose high glucose wale patient jata hai. so i can go and provide the services to them maybe monthly uh, check up and other things to aisa kuch offer ye karu so that is different thing but it is it will not help me statistical modeling as because the aggregated data it will not help me ye aap 40 log hai 40 log ko glucose hai usme se mujhe glucose hai ya nahi wo decide nahi ho sakta wo mere attributes and uspe decide hota whether i have heart problem whether i eat a lot in which region i live which area and all the so these are my attributes not all all books attributes right so i need a detailed data data scientists need a detailed data so yahan tak jo tha data engineer ne data yahan tak la diya detail data source hai so uspe kiya and what takes two to use maybe is connecting with python Five parts. Some of the data may be streaming data. I'm just making it clear. Uh, so they all streaming data comes here. We get aggregate. There is a report here. Maybe reporting tool is here. Here, who reports are made, and then they are using those reports. But till now, it's not being used by data scientists. Now, abhi data scientists picture me aayenge. So what they will do? They will fetch the data for let's say few patients. And to what they sampling, maybe out of ten thousand, I will choose the thousand only just to build my model. So I know I know the history now. Expected outcome kya hai? Expected outcome ye hai ki person ka age, let's say average age, ham eighty pakarte hai. Eighty, eighty saal tak wo jinda rehta hai. This is my average age. So this is my benchmark. Now with this benchmark, what is the expectancy? If someone survives 80 and above, I will make it with 100 percent. Maybe make it 90 for the sake of uh, get it. 90 साल का अगर वो सर्वाइव हुआ, it means it's a one percent, hundred percent survival rate. इसका. Okay. If if survive, let's say for at till 45, meaning इसका survival rate कम. Right. So I want to categorize. I now जो patient का death हुआ है या जो patient अभी भी जिंदा है उसका मैं survival rate निकालूँगा इस इस very easy if he is alive yes if he is dead yes he is not dead and what is the age at this age right so based on that अगर कोई heart का patient death होता है मैं उसका age निकालता हूँ okay yes and then I fit in model तो so, मॉडल में क्या होगा इट विल डिटेक्ट आई विल फिट दैट डेटा अभी मुझे बताओ ये 10 पैरामीटर मैं लेता हूं ये 10 पैरामीटर अगर मैं टेस्ट के लिए कंसीडर करता हूं 
और वट इज द लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी तो पर्सन का लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी लेट से पॉइंट सेवेंटी नाइन आया किसी का पॉइंट मे बी फिफ्टी फाइव आया किसी का पॉइंट सिक्सटी फाइव आया इट मीन्स दैट द पर्सन हु एट्रीट्यूट लेता हूँ तीन एट्रीट्यूट हु हैज हार्ट प्रॉब्लम हु हैज ग्लूकोज हु हैज जेनेटिक और डिसऑर्डर लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी फॉर दैट पेशेंट इज एटी परसेंट मतलब वो इट इज एटी परसेंट चार्ज है सर्वाइवल के इसके फिफ्टी फाइव फिफ्टी फाइव अगर किसी को किंग कोबरा काटता है कितने परसेंट सर्वाइवल के रहता है नियर टू जीरो राइट अगर ट्रीटमेंट नहीं मिली तो नियर टू जीरो सो वी नो बेस्ड ऑन द हिस्टोरिकल डेटा तो अगर मेरे पास पेशेंट का डेटा है देन आई विल बिल्ड अ मॉडल विच विल ट्राई टू सिमुलेट एंड गिव मी द सेम नंबर सो फिर उसके बाद मॉडल जनरेट होने के बाद वो निकालेगा एवरेज लेट्स से दीज आर द डेटा पॉइंट्स ही गॉट नाउ दीज आर द डेटा पॉइंट्स आई गॉट विद द मॉडल अगर कुछ प्रॉब्लम नहीं है तो ही हैज अ हाई सर्वाइवल रेट अगर प्रॉब्लम है तो ही हैज रोज लेस सर्वाइवल रेट तो बेस्ड ऑन दैट ये मेरे कौन से पॉइंट्स हुए एक्चुअल पॉइंट्स नाउ सॉरी मॉडल ने दिया हुआ बट मॉडल एक्चुअल पॉइंट बोल रहा है ये Your survival chances are this, ये रहेगा so there should be some error मैंने बोला था ये सर्वाइव होगा ये इतना रहेगा इसका सर्वाइवल इसका इतना रहेगा so there is some model error based on that model error there will be some line and this line का equation is nothing but the your model correct अगर मैं किसी को बोलूँ मेरा एज एटी है what is my survival chances I can easily predict this right मैं मेरा एज एटी है और मेरे को ये तीन प्रॉब्लम है तो मेरा सर्वाइवल रेट क्या तो इट विल टेल ओ यू विल सर्वाइवल रेट मीन द प्रोबेबिलिटी टू सर्वाइव इज एटी परसेंट इवन दो यू है अगर कोई बोलेगा मैं ये आई हैव ऑल दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हाट इज माय प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ सर्वाइवल सो इट विल से ओके इफ यू हैव दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड यूर एज इज दिस और इवन यूर एज इज दिस यू हैव दिस Probability of survival, very less probability of survival, correct? So, ये attributes से permutation combination से ये model बनेगा, model का line रहेगा. So then I got uh, the benchmark, मतलब actual model इसके ऊपर मैंने data बनाया, sample data लिया, actual data इसके ऊपर predicted data लिया. And this is the task of uh, data scientist. Build this model. अभी तो मॉडल तो बन गया इसका कुछ इक्वेशन रहेगा वाई इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस सॉरी इक्वेशन जो भी स्ट्रेट लाइन का है या जो भी लाइन है स्ट्रेट लाइन है या फिर जो भी लाइन है उसका इक्वेशन रहेगा करेक्ट नाउ वंस दिस इज डन हाउ अबाउट अदर पेशेंट आई बेस्ड ऑन ऑल दिस पेशेंट आई गॉट इट कोई पेशेंट है जिसका एज सेवेंटी है एंड ही हैज ओनली दिस थ्री Problem. What is the survival? So he will fit that information to this model, and he will get an answer. So now this has to be uh, productionalized. मतलब automate होना चाहिए, right? So automate कौन करेगा? The data scientist will build the model. Automation will be done by data engineer. So model रहेगा, वो model के लिए आप data generate करोगे. The format is required by the model. The model will run. Model will generate the output, and you will process that output. That will be the pipeline will be created by data engineer. Now, अभी क्या होता है? कुछ market में medicine आता है जो glucose high है उनका उनका survival rate बढ़ा देता है. So it means my this equation is not correct now. वो deviate होगा. So that is called as the model maintenance. So ये जो data science data scientist है वो again reevaluate करेगा model. को सैंपल डेटा बाद किससे देगा योर नाउ योर दिस लाइन इज वाई वन सो नेक्स्ट टाइम दिस लाइन इक्वेशन बिकम वाई टू क्यों चेंज हुआ क्योंकि आपके एट्रीब्यूट चेंज हुए एट्रीब्यूट का इंपैक्ट चेंज हुआ राइट सो उसकी वजह से ये चेंज होता है नेक्स्ट ईयर में कुछ और डेटा आता है एलर्जी का कुछ अच्छा मेडिसिन निकलता है सर्वाइवल रेट बढ़ता है तो अगेन इट बिकम अ वाई टू सो इट इज कॉल्ड अ मॉडल मेंटेनेंस That will be again done by the data scientist. 
and but the productionization of that model will be done by data engineer and all that data pipeline will be done by the data engineer so dono ke work the difference samajh mein data engineer and data scientist right so there is some overlap kaha pe overlap hai ye jab data sets karte hai na data data scientist will do some cleansing usko simple query run karega बार बार वो आउटपुट जनरेट करेगा वेरीफाई करेगा अभी ये वाई वन ही क्यों लेना चाहिए कंपेयर कैसे करेगा मॉडल एरर तो ये मेरा एक्चुअल है ये प्रेडिक्टेड है तो इसमें एरर कितना है तो एवरेज एरर निकालते हैं कि जि, जिस मॉडल का एरर कम है वो मॉडल इज द बेस्ट फिट मॉडल वो चूज कर दैट्स द मॉडलिंग कंसेप्ट यू कैन गूगल एंड गेट वॉच सम वीडियोज की डेटा साइंटिस्ट मॉडल कैसे बनाते हैं इसका स्टैंडर्ड प्रोसेस है and you can find out that uh, and learn koi bhi example le lo or otherwise i will share some link where the practically you you took search on google like you need the procedure to uh, model for life life expectancy for a patient you will get a lot of this example if the technology is relevant maybe wo r mein batayenge ya fir python mein anything but the core logic remains the same right तो ये समझ में डेटा साइंटिस्ट एंड डेटा इंजीनियर में डेटा इंजीनियर इज 80 परसेंट ऑफ वर्क इन एनी प्रोजेक्ट इज डेटा इंजीनियर वर्क 80 परसेंट बिकॉज यू गेट द डेटा टू देम यू क्लीन द डेटा टू देम देन यू प्रोडक्शनलाइज ऑल दोस थिंग्स यू आल्सो जनरेट सम रिपोर्ट आउट ऑफ दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स आर इन द डेटा इंजीनियर वर्क एनी क्वेश्चंस ऑन दिस what will be included in data reporting so like i mentioned let's say i am a pharmaceutical company and i uh, develop the medicine or i sell the medicine for uh, let's say allergy right now i want to find out mere market kaha pe jada hai where in which area i should sell the medicine so sometimes what happen you gather the information patient ka ki kaun sa patient allergy ka then you find out okay ये एरिया में एलर्जी ज्यादा है व्हाई बिकॉज इट द रिमोट एरिया जहाँ पे पोलन ज्यादा आते हैं जहाँ पे धूल मिट्टी ज्यादा है राइट एंड दीज आर द पीपल हु आर मोर एलर्जी सो आई विल स्टार्ट मेडिकल शॉप या फिर जो भी मेरा प्रोडक्ट है आई विल स्टार्ट सेलिंग मोर देयर इवन फॉर ग्लूकोज नाउट सम जो डायबिटिक पेशेंट है मे बी people who are old age or heart patient has so mostly after 40 they develop that thing now in this area there are a lot of colleges right there are a lot of students in this area probably because there are all students there are less chances of diabetes less chances of having a patient with a heart problem there will be surely but very less chances in, in the population versus if you consider the area where uh, maybe in the pune city where people are more aged there you will find more patients so that analysis i can do i am talking mostly about here in terms of uh, healthcare but if you say banking and other thing the scenario will change uh, another scenario for reporting if you consider is uh, let's say i want to find out how many patients are with the heart problem how many patients with glucose problem what is the overall health of the state and that sort of things i can find out uh, in the reports that we can tell okay. again i want to see kaun se area mein average income average yearly income jyada hai kaun se area mein kam hai how many people are insured in that area how many are not insured so i can also find out that so that will also help me to build a new hospital let's say mai uh, a hospital company which runs the hospital should i open my branch in that area or not are there any patient if there are patient are they capable to pay uh, any charges if they are capable are they backed up by the insurance or not so all that analysis i can do and this type of analysis is business analysis it's not a statistical analysis it's not a modeling so data engineer data analyst uh then data scientists these are very close term they work in a single project but understand the difference of duties what they do okay any question on this 
Any other question? I want to hear three questions. Any three questions? Any problem in this flow? Yeah, any suggestion? Anything like where the which tool be used, which language will be used? Now, yeah, where we can use the snowflake in this architecture, in this business solution, warehouse, yes, even data marts. Sorry? If you do it, you get exported. Yes, we can do it in the other data base, but only here we can use any tool and language. So we can use snowflake for quality alone. Yes, it depends on the ease of the snowflake. The snowflake is no data. You can model or you can transform the data of the volume. It is how you can do it. If you do SQL, maybe, but if you write a SQL, you want to see, okay, there are 35 transformations, join, extract, filter, value. But if you write a SQL, you will get confused. Code, 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 code. You want to visualize it. To which Talents is the one to which you can do. And there are a lot of easier tools we can do. To showcase the flow, right? Some people say, Okay, I want to use airflow for the second view, but I want to use the other view. I will write a query in Snowflake, but for visualization or the second, I will use the Snowflake. So each node or each start of the Snowflake, the SQL query, which will execute on the Any other two questions? Any other questions? No? We have to ask. Yes, there is a good question. There is a tool for data modeling. Generally, uh, Elvin is one tool that we can use for data modeling. We can do data modeling. So, what it does, you can do reverse modeling also. If you have already a database, uh, you can reverse your uh, data. You that. You can build the logical model first and then deploy as a physical model. Tables run as a logical data, you can deploy it. One more question, Elvin. Any other question? What is the default use of data quality? What is the data quality? Data quality. Anybody know about data quality? Which is from the two tools, right? We can use AWS. I mean, I can use it well also as a data policy, but uh, there are also more specific tools that are useful for data policy. Data stage DQ, this is one Informatica DQ, like data stage Informatica PPL package tool. So, go to the main modeling here, go to the main PLB here, I think they also have some reporting also, data quality also, uh, master data management, that is also there. Anybody know about MDF master data management? No. I think you just note down this thing and search it out there. Go to the data quality and write it down. Or it would be also about to do, maybe. And maybe in a group, then one person will search on what is data quality. And then we will share that knowledge with everyone. Like what is data quality? Then what is MDA, master data management? After engineering, we are explaining some master data management. DBMS subjects are data management. 
seen the time travel i think i guess the yes, historical query they got the time travel they got the so we can retrieve the historical data and see what was the data at that point of time when we made the changes 
Okay. I think fail safe, we haven't seen the fail safe because at the account level, we'll see that uh, fail safe feature from Snowflake. Okay, now we'll now move to the next features of the Snowflake, which are very core features and probably most of you, if you know the SQL, you may aware of this feature. Are you looking at the screen on the Zoom? Uh, yeah. So the features are uh, some of the DDL statements that we use to create the database, table, schema, views, function. We can create out of that, uh, which are the core important features of that. Uh, we can have the databases created. We have set operators that we use. We can uh, cast some functions. We can also cast the data type from one data type to another data type. That's what we'll see. Mostly it's a SQL base. Anyone who is expert in SQL can easily understand what are the different SQL statements that are there. But we'll see at a high level some of these statements. And uh, apart from DDL, there are some DMS statements which are most common for uh, update, insert, and delete. Um, or you can have delete for multi table as well. Okay, we'll see some of the uh, I'll use Zoom and I'll thoroughly explain some of the details. कोई क्वेश्चन है? एनी क्वेश्चन? पीछे आपको सुनाई दे रहा है? ओके Are you clear about the data warehousing concept? Fact table, kya hai, dimension table, kya hai, what's the difference between that? STD slowly changing dimension, type 2, type all types. Zero type zero, type one, two, three. Are you aware of what that? What is the type four? Let's say I want to store a history, and that history is stored into another table. What type it is? I want to let's say employee hai, wo job change karta hai. So last type two mein hum log kya karte hai? Same table mein multiple records store karte hai, right? 
तो मुझे वैसा नहीं चाहिए बिकॉज एम्प्लॉय चेंजेस जॉब फ्रिक्वेंटली तो मुझे ये चाहिए कि एम्प्लॉय टेबल पे लोड नहीं आना चाहिए तो ऑल द जॉब चेंजेस शुड बी स्टोर इन हिस्ट्री टेबल एम्प्लॉय अंडर स्कोर हिस्ट्री टेबल में मैं स्टोर करना चाहता हूँ तो वट दैट टाइप ऑफ एक्टिविटी इज Does everybody said the dual multi-factor authentication? Last time हमने किया था, right? I don't know. I think thirty days complete हो गए. Probably my account might have expired. So let's see. Thank you. 
I'm creating the new account. That account is not able to log in. Any other question do you have related to project or snowflake? Use कहाँ पे होता है कैसे होता है any everybody aware about the kid 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 GitHub GitLab no code check in check out nice you are aware about it make sure you are aware about it because once you go in company kid use होगा it's not a difficult but अगर आप इंटरव्यू में भी कोई पूछेगा नहीं कि किट आता है या नहीं आता है बट इट इज गुड टू नो बिकॉज यूल वर्क ऑन दैट एवरीबडी इज अवेयर अबाउट स्क्रम मास्टर प्रिंट प्रिंट प्लानिंग प्रोजेक्ट प्रॉब्ली वो बताया जाएगा आपको इट्स नॉट अ टेक्नोलॉजी इट्स हाउ द प्रोजेक्ट वर्क प्रोजेक्ट प्लानिंग कैसे होता है एग्जीक्यूशन कैसे मेनली एग्जीक्यूशन हाउ इट वर्क्स
Okay, I'm sharing my screen. Let me know once you are able to see it. On your laptop, are you able to see? Okay. I raise a new request to create an account. It will take some time, but it doesn't matter. We'll continue on uh, VS Code. Everybody is aware about VS Code. Okay, it's an IDE developed uh, for the development coders. So maybe you can use the Python. Uh, generally, I use VS Code, prefer VS Code. Uh, there is a uh, PyCharm is again a good option, but uh, it's a community version. It's not that good. There are limited features. If you have an enterprise license, hai, to, which is best for PyCharm. Agar nahi, to community edition, I don't prefer because both are features is not VS Code mein jada features. Hai. So I prefer to use VS Code. It's again a choice uh, which one you use. Um, so let me open. And you told me that you are not aware about Git, right? So Git is a software, GitHub and GitLab are the services that are provided. पुराने ही जमाने में क्या होता था कोड अगर कोई डेवलप करेगा तो मेरे मशीन पे है या शेयर ड्राइव पे रहता था अगर शेयर ड्राइव से कनेक्शन लूज हो गया तो कोड गया किसी ने ओवरराइट कर दिया तो प्रॉब्लम हो गया डिलीट कर दिया मैं चेंज कर रहा हूं दूसरा बंदा चेंज कर रहा है तो प्रॉब्लम होता था सो आफ्टर दैट आई थिंक 90s की बात है और आफ्टर 90s इन अर्ली 2000 एसवीएन आया सब वर्जन सिस्टम आया उसमें क्या होता था it's a software which manage your repository center repository entity. Uh, but there were again some issue you can manage to have versions only, right? Other so long a code pe kaam kar rahe, to difficult ho jata tha. Then it comes a Git. Git is more sophisticated for code management, code changes, versioning, and other things. Git is very good nowadays. And maybe as We'll continue for next half an hour or 40 minutes. So I'll cover Git. 40 minutes may pura cover ho jayega. Aapko jo jo necessary hai. Uh, I'm not going to go in the details of a command because those are easy. I will go through basic command, not basic, but the necessary commands that we use. Or you must also have heard about CICD, continuous integration and continuous development, deep deployment. Have you heard about that? Okay. So, when you develop code, develop karte ho, it, is, it is not your duty, not as a data engineer, you are a consumer of that. But your DevOps is the role here, those people use that CICD pipeline. So, those people develop CICD pipeline, we are the consumer, we meaning data engineer is the consumer of that. So, basics aapko pata hai, so which is well important. So, now in next 40 minutes or 30 minutes, I will explain about how you use the tool kit and how we create a project, so which is helpful in your project. So, uh, Git is a software, GitHub and GitLab are the services where you can store code. Kar sakte ho. Uh, you can also install GitHub and GitLab on your on premises and you can maintain on your code. Let's say Google, hai, Google, GitHub and GitLab are the companies. Those again are I think, open source. I think Microsoft bought the GitHub or GitLab, right? Two years or three years before COVID, Microsoft bought that around 16 million or something. But nevertheless, my uh, software download. So, first I'll go to Git. Uh, I will prefer Git Hub or Git Lab. And both I, I will explain the both the things to you uh, and choose one up. This is Git Lab and I will go to GitHub. 
you can simply go to github.com and gitlab.com you'll see the two different things and you can create your own account these are the two service providers github and gitlab which is which will store your code on their systems and will the software will provide you it's a service just like google drive right code aapke files google ke paas rehte hain and you are the owner of that file because aapka account chalta hai but banks and other things kya bolte hai ki nahi code hamara hamare paas hi rehna chahte hai so they give the software and they install at their on premises and then they uh, use that so i will prefer to use the github everybody go on github and create their own account go to and do the sign up uh as already i have account i will just do the sign in only i have multi factor authentication enabled for the git uh, git hub so i'll get this to the otp there Okay, I just log in. I will. Anybody want to share the screen while creating the account? Does anybody want to share? Who? What's your name? Uh. Yes, similar to Chimo, you will have to sign. Uh, you join Zoom, right? So, may I go? You can share your screen. Join with what I do. Huh? Play with that. Ah, uh, thirty days. You can create a new ID and keep them again. So, for GitHub, uh, what's your ID so that I can add you on Zoom? Ah, can you make me a host? Everybody stay near by, right? So it's good, right? Where to go far? Which location? Oh. So let me know what time is comfortable. Is it comfortable till seven thirty? Huh. Okay. Okay. Yep, I make you host, uh, share your screen. Does anybody has completed creating the account for GitHub? Okay, so Prachi is sharing her screen. Now she registered and asking to create a password. You can set any password. Huh, your password. Any, any password. 
no for github only github what username you want for the github i think uh it's all not available you can add something there some number or something no no space the user username it's available okay and you can verify you can just type yes or no so now if you're looking at the screen the account is created um, move that uh, square so arrow and uh, fingers can do direction yeah? move a direction you also move Based on the ad. Yeah. Uh, these are the ads. Yeah. Okay, right. And then, so, okay. You must have received an email. Uh, you can mention just me. Yeah, okay, five to ten. Anything is fine. Student. Yeah. Uh, scroll down. Uh, you can choose the client app, uh, then one or more automate CICD, or you can choose all. Description of graph project management. Click on project management, team administration, and community also. Yeah. Uh, yes. Continue, please. Okay, so now uh, GitHub repository or GitHub account is created. Uh, you can follow the same procedure. It's not, not difficult. I'm taking back again. Okay. You can stop. Yeah. I think you're still sharing. Yes.
I think you are still host. Can you make me host? Uh, image. Just, just search filter, filter of image and right click and make present. Uh, okay. okay. So I'm again sharing my screen. Are you able to see my screen? Yes. So, abhi aap sab logo ne, ya, most of people ne GitHub pe account banaya. Now we want to create a project into that. Okay. So I'll go to the dashboard or we'll create a repository under that. Create a new repository. Now I'll name it as so you can see after the username diya hoga, wo yaha pe aya hoga, right? Under this user, I want to create a repository. Okay. So I will say BW hyphen PE data engineering PES. I will type PES data engineering and data science scientist or PES. Uh, maybe I'll, the project name I'll give it as. Detail and meeting. Have a project for banking, the retail, uh, healthcare, uh, or anything else, insurance. Which domain you want to prefer to have a project for? Which one? Healthcare? Retail. How many for retail? Can you raise your hand? Only one, two. Banking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Healthcare. Healthcare is done. Okay. Okay. Any reason? Any reason do you want for healthcare? Most of people want for healthcare. Any reason? Interesting. What parameter you have considered that I want to do healthcare? Mein karna hai. The scope, the approach. Some research has done that in healthcare project, the scope is more. So, help, why healthcare? Yeah. Data के बारे में पता है बहुत ज़्यादा। I would go with retail. Simply the reason is that it is more closer day to day life. I I will also prefer to go for banking for two reasons. You may अगर आप account है तो बहुत सारे term आपको पता होगी banking के bank loans कैसे operate करता है। Healthcare ऐसा चीज़ है India में healthcare ज़्यादा नहीं है it's more US oriented and it is little complex because आप Day to day doctor ke paas jate nahi hai. I mean, what the system in the US is there, so you don't go that. Either I will prefer for retail or banking. Okay. Let's go with retail. I'll name it as BWTS Retail Analytics. Okay. Okay. Now I created a repository. I'll make and I want to create for that. So it will tell me what. And it has. There is a template. Uh, I want to also add a git ignore. So there are certain parts of the 
selected the template as a Python here. And license file, do you? you are able to see start doing this activity so more nahi hoga aapko ye to neend aayega khana ho gaya i saw a few people nap le rahe the Okay, done. Should I proceed further? Okay. So, many repository create Report. Sorry. Yeah, I think there is screen share problem. Yes.
ओके अजूर अकाउंट हो गया आपका नाउ वी वेर एट द पेज वेर वी वेर क्रिएटिंग द रिपोजिटरी तो वी सिलेक्टेड रिटमी फाइल रिटमी फाइल बनाओ देन सेकेंड वी सिलेक्टेड द एट द गिटिंग नोर फाइल एंड वी सिलेक्टेड द पाइथन टेम्पलेट टू एट द गिटिंग नोर फाइल then we choose the license is optional license choose karna hai and i just added the c and the main then the next option which branch do you want to be as a default branch so by default it will create a main as a main branch as a default branch and in settings you can change that branch you can create your development branch uh, or any other branch as a default branch but here i choose to have a uh, main branch as a Default branch and this is creating the repository. And you can see that in the next page we created the repository under the name BS BS Detail Analytics is the name of repository. It created three files. One is Git ignore because we said we want to add a Git ignore file. It created the second file, the license file because we said. We want to create a license file. Then we created a third file, which is the README file. Right now, it's a blank file because we have not added anything. Right? So, if कोई भी project में main branch का code production में जाता है, so we never touch to the main branch. We create a different branch. So, how to create a different branch? Now, मुझे branch बनाना है development के लिए. So I go here and here I'll say create a new branch. Okay? I'm going to bring main branches. And you can see main branch is created as a default branch. Okay. I'm creating a new branch here. Mujhe development karna hai, so I'll create a branch with the name as a dev. Okay. So dev branch concept branch se banegi abhi. So I said create a dev branch from the main branch so i said create a main branch a dev branch from the source from develop main branch so create a dev branch now i created my new branch okay so now if i go again go back to my main repository i see two branches created kon kon se कौन कौन से दो ब्रांच बने मेन एंड डेव विच इज माय डिफॉल्ट ब्रांच मेन ब्रांच विच इज माय ब्रांच टू डेवलप द कोड डेव ब्रांच सो नाउ आई विल गो टू द वीएस कोड और यू कैन गो टू एनी कमांड प्रॉम्प्ट एंड इन कमांड प्रॉम्प्ट यू शुड हैव इंस्टॉल्ड अ गिट गिट सॉफ्टवेयर रहता है दिस इज अ गिट हब इट्स अ सर्विस गिट इज अ सॉफ्टवेयर कमांड लाइन सॉफ्टवेयर जैसे एडब्ल्यू एस पी एल आई है स्लो सिक्वल है वैसे गिट से इंटरेक्शन के लिए गिट नाम का सॉफ्टवेयर है ई एफ सी आता है यू विल हैव टू इंस्टॉल इट ऑन योर ओन मशीन कैन यू चेक ओपन द सी एम डी कमांड फ्रॉम एंड जस्ट टाइप गिट चेक दैट यू हैव गिट और नॉट सो आई हैव अ गिट ऑन माई मशीन सो दैट्स वाई इट शोइंग ऑल दिस थिंग्स ओके अगर आपको वीएस कोड से करना है तो वीएस कोड में यू कैन ओपन अ टर्मिनल अ न्यू टर्मिनल एंड हियर इन द टर्मिनल यू कैन टाइप योर कमांड्स आई प्रेफर टू टाइप हियर एंड ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट आई प्रेफर टू यूज अ गिट बैश सो आई आई आल्सो हैव अ बैश ऑपरेटर हियर इफ यू हैव दैट बैश दैट इज गुड How to install the Git Bash? If you want to, you can install from the plugin. The plugin is, or you can call it as extension. Here, pe Git Bash search करके you can install it. Okay. Okay. 
thing because it is already there. Okay, I already have installed Git Bash uh, on my system, so it's already there. Or you can open from the command prompt. So I have a location page. So I have, are you able to see this? See location, workspace, BW project, and Snowflake demo. The project. So here I have remote repository, which is GitHub. I have a code pull on my local machine. Okay? So what do I have to do for that? Switch to the dev branch. यहाँ पे dev branch पे switch हुआ and you see this code. ये code पे ये HTTPS select करता हूँ and I'll just copy this command. Copy this URL. Are you with me so far? ये copy किया and then I'll go to this and I'll say git clone. I'll just paste the command line, the copy line. Okay? I'll hit enter. It may ask for login information if you're logging in the first time, as I already have logged in many times, so it's not asking any information to me. So now, usne code kaha se pull kiya, GitHub se connect karke, pull code pull kiya. Now, if I do ls, So you can see that BW Retail Analytics here is ready. Are you able to see on your screen? So I'll do CD to it. Okay. I'm there right now. Which branch I am in right now? In which branch I am in? Main branch. So that's why it shows here. So I want to open it now with the VS Code. I will say open folder and under the snowflake demo this is the folder here create one right so i'll open this folder in vs code and you can see that git ignore license and readme file you know file here create so i'll again open the terminal just to write a code or anything to it I'll prefer to use the bash one. Okay. So now, under this, under this folder, I want to create another folder. So I create folder, let's say SRC, which means a source. Under the source folder, I want to create a subfolder, uh, maybe a jobs. Under the, again the source, source folder, I want to create again one more folder called uh, utils, utilities. Again, I want to create a one more folder, uh, but at a root level. And the folder ko naam deta hon mein config. Aise kyu bana ro mein? Aap jab bhi project pe jao ke, ye folder structure aapko milega. This or somewhat similar. So config folder may configuration store uh, miscellaneous folder may util folder may utilities your reusable code hai, chada, usable code hai. something like connect to snowflake so you will create a class within the class you may create one method which will connect to the snowflake now password something you don't want to store on the file so you will store in a vault i will explain what vault is just like uh up path one path or some password storage can use it. You don't remember a password. You store it somewhere. Or then Chrome ka extension is password store. So you don't want to store the password in the files. So you store password in the vault. Or API call ka password paste it. And then you use the password dynamically in your code. So in the project, I will explain that one to you. These all are the project peripheral tools that we use. अगर आपको पता है तो it will be very easy in interview or when you go on the project so you will be very comfortable doing any project and same thing with the gate if you know the gate you will be very comfortable in actual working on the project तो आपको ऐसे नहीं लगेगा अरे मैं कहाँ पे आ गया 
मुझे पाइथन पाइस पार्क आई एम एक्सपर्ट बट आई डोंट नो कहाँ से चालू करना है ऐसा नहीं होगा इट्स अ रियल टाइम व्हाट एवर इंडस्ट्री में जो होगा दैट यू विल गेट इट हियर सो नाउ आई गॉट इट कंफिग फोल्डर आई हैव एसआरसी एसआरसी जनरली स्टैंड फॉर सोर्स कोड योर कोड इज हियर देन जॉब्स तो मैं अलग अलग जॉब बनाना चाहता हूँ लैंडिंग जॉब रिफाइन जॉब ट्रांसफॉर्म जॉब दैट जॉब आई वॉन्ट टू स्टोर इट हियर एंड यूटिलिटीज लाइक समथिंग utility i want to create a python file here now in utils and i want to give name it as snow util snow util.py okay and you can see that why i have given the name initials are small or middle are capital because i want to have this as a class name that's why i put it here snow utils then again i want to give it as uh, data checker utils again utils mein hi main next file banata hu data php util okay data checker utilities banaya maine so i have this two code now here okay python file bana similarly jobs mein main abhi banata hu uh i'll create a sub folder i will have it um, refine jobs this is my sub folder and within the refine job i create it as job 1.py file just to uh, make it it easy okay so just want to show on the ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम पे मतलब फोल्डर एक्सप्लोरर पे मैं हायर दिखा देता हूँ इस बार तो आई एम ऑन सी ड्राइव वर्क स्पेस बी डब्ल्यू प्रोजेक्ट सी ड्राइव वर्क स्पेस pw projects under that i have snow demo under that i have a pw under that i have source i have uh, jobs and under the jobs i have refined job under the refined job i have the job 1.python file okay ye sab maine bana liya and i just say import photo c okay i just added this code now mera code सपोज चेंज किया अभी ये कोड मुझे रिमोट चेक इन करना है सो आई वांट टू ऐड दिस कोड व्हिच रिपोजिटरी आई एम राइट नाउ इन मेन मेन में हूं बट आई वांट टू क्रिएट अ सेपरेट रिपोजिटरी सो आई वांट टू स्विच टू डेव रिपोजिटरी सो आई हैव टू टाइप गिट चेक आउट डेव सो मैं डेव रिपोजिटरी में चेक आउट किया नाउ यू कैन सी स्विचिंग डिपॉजिटरी टू डेव रिपोजिटरी सो आई हैव टू इन अ डेव रिपोजिटरी and i have all the code here if i do ls i see src or jo folder bana hai i have all it here okay now once i switch to this repository this code yahan pe hai kya yahan pe dikh raha hai wo file nahi hai so it is on my local machine it is not on the remote server yet on the git git hub so i need to push this code so i first before pushing i need to commit this code before commit i need to add this code so i have to write a git add dot so ye jab jo bhi changes hai wo add karega aur changes kon kon se hai ye mujhe dekhna hai pehle so let's say first i want to see what are the changes git status give me the status what i have changed so you can see that it gave the status that there is a file added in src sc mein bahut sare changes hai so i need to add git add dot okay so it will add all this content to git log local pe hi hai abhi so log mein add karega now so all things are added then i want to make it so git status again just to check okay so add karne ke baad usne kya bola ki yes you made this changes and these are the changes these changes are 
कमिट ये कमिट किए क्या अभी नहीं किया कोड कमिट किया है क्या नहीं किया तो आई नीड टू डू द कमिट सो आई नीड टू राइट केट कमिट हाइफन एम तो मैं से थिंग आई रोट ओके नाउ मेरा कोड कमिट हो गया बट इट इज स्टिल ऑन द लोकल इट इज नॉट ऑन द रिमोट सो रिमोट के लिए मुझे क्या करना पड़ेगा आई हैव टू राइट अ गिट पुश इंटरनेट नाउ इफ इंटरनेट कनेक्शन इज डाउन मे बी इट विल नॉट बी एबल टू कनेक्ट दैट्स यू कैन पुश इट्स नॉट अ बिग अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा इट्स अपलोडिंग working okay so it has uploaded code on the remote repository once this page is refreshed you will see that the folders that we created are available here the src folder right or jab humne push kiya humne commit bhi likha tha message likha tha kya likha tha first commit So you can see that here first commit list kya hai. Then who who pushed that code? This is the user who has pushed that code. Then if you use all the history, so push kya a minute ago. Kya kya bolto? So generally, this is these are the files that we push, and it will have the same message that we put in the code. फर्स्ट कमेंट राइट ये फोल्डर स्ट्रक्चर यहाँ पे आ गया सो नाउ हियर ऑनवर्ड वट एवर देंजेस मेक यू मेक द चेंज यू विल पुश द कोर टू डेव ब्रांच एंड देन यू पुश इट सो समाइम्स क्या होता है लेट से देर आर टेन पी डेवलपर वर्किंग ऑन सम फीचर फाइव फीचर है मीनिंग फाइव जॉब है टेन डेवलपर वर्क कर रहे हैं सो इन दैट केस यू की क्रिएट अ फीचर ब्रांच एंड देन बिकॉज कंप्लीट नहीं होना चाहिए सो देर ऑल्सो यू कैन क्रिएट अज दैट हाउ टू क्रिएट अ फीचर ब्रांच फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अ फीचर ब्रांच हमने टेव ब्रांच बनाया था टेव ब्रांच किससे बनाया था मेन ब्रांच से अभी मैं फीचर ब्रांच बनाना चाहता हूँ किससे बनाना चाहता हूँ आई लेट सेट फ्रॉम डेव ब्रांच से सो आई विल से गेट ब्रांच फीचर और स्लैश लिखता हूं मैं फीचर का नाम लिखता हूं जॉब वन ओके जॉब वन नाम का फीचर ब्रांच बनाता हूं दैट्स इट गिट ब्रांच एंड नेम ऑफ द ब्रांच इट विल क्रिएट अ फीचर ब्रांच देन गिट चेकआउट एंड आई से गिट चेकआउट टू दिस ब्रांच द ब्रांच बी क्रिएटेड फीचर जॉब वन नाम का ब्रांच बनाए सो नाउ आई एम स्विच टू फीचर वन फीचर आई थिंक आई मिस आई शुड हैव टेकन द अनदर स्लैश एंड नाउ आई हैव दिस I'll make this change here in the jobs as after this go to see. Okay. अभी मुझे मैंने कोड में चेंज किया जॉब वन में. Okay. यहाँ पे M दिखा रहा है. M मतलब modified. अभी ये कोड modified हुआ है. अभी आप step बताओ मुझे क्या करना पड़ेगा. पहले क्या मॉडिफाई हुआ है कैसे चेक करूं क्या रन कर कौन से गिट कमांड रन करूं जिससे मुझे पता चले मैंने क्या मॉडिफाई किया गिट स्टेटस गुड ओके अभी मुझे पता चला ये मॉडिफाई किया मैंने इसको मैं अभी क्या करूं आगे क्या करूं 
steps are here git add okay git add i can add only this file also or a all so if for all i just put the star okay when i add here now what i do next uh, let's check the status okay status add here status me kya click bol raha hai changes to commit mujhe commit karna padega so i need to write an git commit hyphen m for message second second commit okay i run it added the, or committed the that changes sorry okay abhi ye changes hai now i go to this remote yahan pe mujhe nahi dikhega why push nahi kiya okay i'll go and i'll get to get push get push okay now itne different message diya mujhe error diya the current branch feature job 1 has no upstream branch aisa kyun diya usne कुछ नहीं किया क्यों नहीं किया यहाँ पे दो ही ब्रांच है उसको जॉब वन ब्रांच नहीं मिला तो वट आर द ऑप्शन वी हैव आइदर क्रिएट ब्रांच हियर और आइदर क्रिएट फ्रॉम हियर तो उसने कमांड भी दे दिया यूज दिस वन गिट पुश सेट अपस्ट्रीम अपस्ट्रीम मतलब जो रिपोर्ट है उसमें बना दो एंड पुश ऑल्सो सो आई कॉपी दिस कमांड Press it here and run it. So now it will create as well as it will push automatically. And it it has to do one time only. Push up bar bar कर सकते हो, but set upstream एक ही बार करना है first time only. Now just wait for it to push. Okay, done. And you can see that the new branch feature hyphen job one is. created and tracked under this remote so if i go here and refresh now i'll see the feature branch job one is created let me see this the feature job one is created so two developer ye feature pe kaam karenge two developer two feature pe and then you consolidate everything in a dev branch and the dev may will you will run then the, from the dev the code will go to the test branch टेस्ट में इंटीग्रेशन टेस्ट होगा देन यूएटी ब्रांच रहेगा जहां पे यूजर एक्सेप्टेंस टेस्टिंग होगा कोई बग आता है तो दैट विल बी रिपोर्टेड बाय क्यूए पर्सन टू द डेवलपर डेवलपर वो फीचर ब्रांच में फिक्स करेगा अगेन डेवलप ब्रांच में पुश करेगा रीटेस्ट होगा अगेन क्यूए में रीटेस्ट होगा एंड देन इट विल गो अगेन टू यूएटी यूएटी में पास होगा एंड देन एवरीथिंग गोस वेल देन इट गोस टू मेन ब्रांच मेन जो ब्रांच है फिर डेवलप प्रोडक्शन में कोड डिप्लॉय होगा देन इट विल रन ऑन प्रोडक्ट सो दैट्स द कोड डिप्लॉयमेंट फेज और प्रोसेस इज हियर एंड आई विल एनकरेज यू टू स्टार्ट यूजिंग अ गेट एज मच एज पॉसिबल बिकॉज़ इट विल हेल्प यू अगर दो डेवलपर हो आप एक ही प्रोजेक्ट एक ही काम कर रहे हो तो क्रिएट अ ब्रांच हियर मेक चेंजेस क्रिएट अ जॉब प्रैक्टिस करो इट विल हेल्प यू टू कोलैबोरेट टू ईच अदर ओके I think I have given next last forty minutes a very fast and high level, not high level, but actually what to required है आप functioning के वो overview दिया है just use this one practice it so real project में यही होता है you will have to create branches and you will have to use this so uh git or VS Code में एक plugin है extension है git graph so which gives you to visual presentation kya kya hua okay i have just open it just give me a minute it is loading so ye feature pehle humne main branch banaya fir dev banaya fir feature branch banaya we have not merged it so merge ka bhi rehta hai let's say i have I want to merge the feature branch into dev branch. So I'll go here now. CI/CD comes into the picture. Continuous integration and continuous deployment coming feature. 
आप दोनों डेवलपर है आपने कोड डेवलप किया एंड नाउ यू वांट टू पुश टू द डेवलपमेंट ब्रांच सो यू विल हैव टू रेज द पीआर पीआर मीनिंग पुश रिक्वेस्ट ओके इफ यू गो हियर ऑन योर प्रोजेक्ट ऑन द योर डिपॉजिटरी इसका एक्सेस लिमिट को रहेगा आपको नहीं रहेगा सो यू विल गो एंड गो इन एक्शन सॉरी पुल रिक्वेस्ट And आप क्या बोलोगे I want to create a pull request. क्या pull request? मैं code push करना चाहता हूँ from what? From feature branch to which branch? The dev branch. ये क्यों करना है? क्योंकि lead आपने code जो develop किया lead check करेगा review करेगा ये बराबर है या नहीं कुछ code गलत डाल दिया कहीं पे hard code डाल दिया कहीं पे password डाल दिया so he want to make sure आपने कोड अच्छे से लिखा है so he will see like this oh पहले कोड ये था इसने ये लाइन ऐड किया है so he will compare that make sure आपने कुछ डिलीट नहीं किया कुछ ऐड नहीं किया पासवर्ड so you raise the pull request and ये pull request में can you see the reviewers यहाँ पे आप reviewers डालोगे you are collaborating in a team you will select okay uh, you will add a person I'm not sure at the public. I can search it. There is no option for search. But any user ko aap reviewer dal sakte hai. And then you will submit a pull request. And message like please review and approve. Okay. The pull request is created. Or aap title dal sakte ho. Pull request ki. ये ये फीचर है ये डिफेक्ट है ये समथिंग लाइक दैट सो दैट एनी वन कैन चेक इट नाउ लेट से मैं रिव्यूअर हूँ तो मुझे यहाँ पे जाओ अगर मैं पुल रिक्वेस्ट पे जाऊँ तो आई कैन सी ओ देर इज वन पुल रिक्वेस्ट विच इज ओपन आई कैन ओपन दिस एंड एज आई एम रिव्यूअर आई कैन रिव्यू दिस ओके क्या क्या चेंज किया है आई एल रिव्यू दिस कहाँ पे रिव्यू पता चलेगा मुझे यहाँ पे कितने कमिट्स है कितने चेक्स है कितने फाइल में चेंजेस है एंड कितने चेंजेस है आई कैन सी इट हियर आई रिव्यू एंड आई से ओके गुड योर कोड लुक गुड रिव्यू चेंजेस एंड आई से अप्रूव Okay, I'll say merge pull request, confirm merge, and it is merged automatically. Merge हो गया. So now you can see. अगर मैं pull request पे जाता हूँ, so I don't see any open, but I see the closed one, right? So वो code review करके मैंने push कर दिया. Now when I go to my branches, development branch में मैं जाता हूँ. So you will see one more commit here, development branch में. You will see one more extra commit. कौन सा commit? मैंने जो push किया, review करके push किया, वो commit आएगा. Can you see this? Merge pull request number one. I reviewed and I pushed from feature job one, right? And there are four commit. Four commits कैसे हुए? These all are the four commit. Initial commit था, then first commit था, second commit था, and merge वाला एक commit हुआ. ऐसे चार कमिट आ गए, ओके, एंड दैट एवरीथिंग सिटिंग ऑन द सेव ब्रांच राइट नाउ, सो इफ आई गो बैक एंड सी इन अ विजुअल प्रेजेंटेशन, मैं ये गिट ग्राफ में जाता हूँ एंड आई जस्ट रिफ्रेश दिस, यहाँ पे रिफ्रेश है Now I'm doing git pull instead of push. I'm doing the git pull to get all the information from above. So I did it, and 